All right, so I feel like I need to go in with a proper disclaimer for you that 99.9% .9 of everything you're about to hear is 100% probably true and most likely happen. So I'm just giving you a fair warning before we get started. So here's the deal. Over the past 13 months, I've made a lot of videos about guitars. Some of them are silly videos, some of them are funny videos. If you had told me 13 months ago that those guitar videos would have led to some really niche other interests in my life, I don't think I might have believed you. I'm like, I'm in this just for guitars, but in making guitar videos, you start to get really passionate about other things like cameras and videos and making videos. And when you make videos, you have to have a good camera. And when you have a good camera, your file sizes go up. And when your file sizes go up, you need a good laptop. And unfortunately, I've had a few laptop struggles over the past year and a half just because of some of those big file sizes. So the other day I was having the worst of my computer problems, like the worst you can possibly have. And I'm in here just frustrated because I'm trying to upload this video about Martin guitars and about how I got to play all of them. Link in the description, by the way. And it's taken like 45 minutes to upload a single video. So I knew I had to go visit my favorite place on earth. I had to go to the Apple store to get my computer fixed. And I'm so scared. Like I'm so scared going into this store. That's two hours of my day that I know I'm not gonna get back. I know I'm gonna get there. They're gonna have me wait in line for an hour. And then it's gonna take an hour to fix my laptop. And they're just gonna try and sell me stuff that I don't need when I just need my laptop fixed. Wouldn't you know? Not only did it not take an hour, it took seven minutes. The dude at the store was so nice. He fixed my laptop. I was so grateful that he didn't like try and oversell me on anything. It was amazing. And so I walk out of that Apple store. I am basically skipping like every grown man does when he's happy. I am skipping. I'm smiling from ear to ear like the Joker. My father would have been so happy. And right as I'm doing that, I'm walking through my mall and I get on the escalator and I'm going on the up escalator. And once you know, once I start going on the up escalator, I'm just looking around said mall, you know, just having a happy day. And on the down escalator, about, you know, a foot and a half from me, I see this girl. It was a short girl with red hair. And I'm like, oh, okay. I've seen short girls with red hair before, but she was wearing this very unique jersey. And there was something just very different about her. I don't think anything of it at the time. That is until I reach the top, the very top of the escalator where I say to myself, Oh my goodness, that's Haley Williams. Now, at this point, I don't really know what to do with myself. I mean, Paramore's lead singer, that's absolutely unbelievable. So what I do is as soon as I get to the top of that escalator, I sprint down the down escalator. I'm basically pushing people out of my way. I'm like, ah, ah. so I get to the bottom and I see this woman and all I say is, you're Haley Williams. And she goes, hey, what's your name? And I'm like, <laughs> My name is Mike. I'm a big fan. And she goes, thank you, Mike. And she was, she was filming some content for some of her like hair dye products just in the mall. And it was one of the most, it was one of the coolest things that had happened. I said, hey, would you mind if I get a picture? She was like, yeah, of course. I end up leaving that day. I immediately call about seven of my friends and I'm like, I know you're at work right now, but you need to know what just happened to me 20 minutes ago because it's going to change everything. And they're like, Mike, what is it? Is your laptop working? And I'm like, no. Now that sent me down a whole spiral, you see. I never grew up as an emo kid, but back in 2017, Paramore had released their album after laughter, which I had loved at the time. As someone who didn't really listen to Paramore growing up and had never been an emo kid, I didn't really know what to think. That was the first thing that really ignited some of my love for this 80s influenced music. So having met the lovely Miss Haley Williams, I decided I was going to revisit that album. I was going to see if it still held up after having met someone who I musically looked up to so much. So I put on After Laughter and one track in, 45 seconds of listening to this track, literally 45 seconds, I realized I hate Paramore. Now you might be like, Mike, Mike, whoa, 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 that's way too soon to make, what are you talking about? Now, when I say hate, I'm actually using this as an acronym. The acronym is having appreciation that's earned. The reason I hated them is because I realized their music is so much more intricate than I had even given them credit for when I first listened to them and when I first started loving them. And let me explain why. There's something to be said about arrangement. And let me go deeper into that. Well, here's kind of what I mean when I say arrangement. Remember how I was talking about the intro song to their album After Laughter? Well, the guitar riff goes kind of like this. It 
It's played by their guitarist Taylor York, who's been with the band forever. The cool thing about it is just harmonically when you think of the riff. He's using a lot of what I wouldn't necessarily associate with a former punk band. A little bit of music theory, right? The first chord that he's actually diamond strumming is this F minor. He's leading into it by arpeggiating these double stops. The final two that he's playing are the C and this F, which are part of the F minor chord. He does the same thing before he's going through the C minor, just backwards, where he leads with this E flat note. And here's where the real arrangement genius comes with this. You see, that could be one guitar part, which would be really cool in a mix. But what Paramore decides to do with their producers is they actually decide to pan it. And to fully understand it, you might want to put on some headphones right now, because he plays this part in the left ear, and this part in the right ear and it switches back and forth whenever he plays that riff. Now, it would be one thing if it was just hard times, right? And then the rest of the album was kind of trash, but those kind of cool arrangements are actually all over this After Laughter album, you see. All you have to do is go two more tracks down and we get to a track called Told You So, which also has one of the coolest guitar riffs that I've seen in a pop song in quite a minute, homie. And that just got me thinking to a different degree what it actually means to be a guitar player and more than just our technical abilities, but in actually being able to write and create and arrange pieces, which is what makes a guy like Taylor York so special. Like he can play in time, he can shred, whatever. I mean, but I think what makes solos like Misery Business, what makes his guitar work on albums like After Laughter so acclaimed is because he knows what constitutes in making great parts, which is what you're really supposed to do as a lead guitarist in a band like that. And having been able to do that since 2005, we're talking about almost 18 years of having to create different parts for different styles, going from like a pop punk band to an 80s band to now an indie rock band. That takes a superior guitar player and that takes a level of musical ability that I feel like is not appreciated because it's so seamless. So Taylor York, fantastic guitar player, man. I really found recently that I'm just intrigued by him as a player. So I appreciate Paramore so much as a band. And like I said, having never gone through an emo phase and being able to just kind of recapture that now that I love music, like it's, it's cool to see what this band's been able to do over the past 18 years. So all the musicians in that band, thank you. Haley Williams, thank you for being so nice to me last week. It was incredible to meet you. Uh, and yeah, Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like any of the gear used in this video, pull out the Silver Sky. If you want to know anything more about that, you can get it at Sweetwater. The link is in the description, one of the best ways to support the channel. Or if you're just curious about the gear, make sure to check out those links. Like and subscribe if you had a good time, and most important of all, have a fantastic day.